When Gaspar Uliel planned a ski trip to La Rosière Resort, nobody could have predicted that it would end in tragedy. But that's exactly what happened. Instead of enjoying a special family vacation in this winter wonderland, Gaspar's son lost a father, and the world was robbed of a talented actor. It's all because of an accident. After a collision with another skier, the 37-year-old Frenchman suffered a severe and fatal head injury. But while some fans are reeling from the death, others are questioning what it means for his unfinished projects, including the Marvel series Moon Knight. There's a lot to unpack, but we have answers. We never would have imagined that skiing could be such a dangerous hobby, but there's proof. Less than a week before Gaspar's passing, a five-year-old girl was killed in the same region in the same way. Associated Press revealed that the man responsible for her injuries was charged with manslaughter, but we don't know if the same fate awaits the man who crashed into Gaspar. What we do know is that he wasn't injured at all. Back to Gaspar. Immediately after the collision, there still seemed to be hope. The actor was motionless and unconscious when medical personnel arrived, but he was alive. That changed when he was airlifted to Grenoble University Hospital Center, where he was pronounced dead as a result of his head injury. Gaspard was one of France's best-known actors. His career started when he was just 12, but it wasn't until 2007 that he earned international fame with his first ever English role, playing young Dr. Lecter in Peter Weber's Hannibal Rising. He was also a model and the face of Chanel's men's fragrances. His success did more than win him fans and awards. It set the scene for what could have been his most popular role to date. Chillingly, he passed away just a month before he'd be sharing the screen with Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke in Moon Knight. But more on that later. With a busy career behind him, Gaspard made a lot of friends in the film industry, which is why there's been such a massive outpouring of grief. Peter Weber, the director of Hannibal Rising, said he was shocked and saddened to hear of the death of his friend. Similarly, Xavier Dolan, the director who helped Gaspar get his big break in the French film It's Only the End of the World, was devastated. He explained, every feature of your person was made from a sparkly sweetness. Your whole being transformed my life. Marion Cotillard was equally distraught, saying, oh, how I loved to know you. It's so painful to know you're gone. There's more. Cannes Film Festival director Thierry Frémaux told Variety, Gaspar was equally brilliant and talented. We'll always remember him. And then there's his fans, who were eagerly anticipating Gaspar's Marvel debut as Moon Knight's Anton Bogar, aka The Midnight Man. The same fans who are now concerned that he might have left his last role unfinished. Although Disney is keeping tight-lipped and not responding to media requests for details, there doesn't seem to be a risk of that happening. The show finished filming in Budapest several weeks ago, but the crew was still busy wrapping up production when Gaspar was killed. Our only option now is to wait until the show premieres next month. However, the people who are most devastated by this tragedy are his family. You see, the reason that Gaspar was at the ski slopes at all was to celebrate his son's sixth birthday. In fact, the day before the tragedy, the actor's longtime girlfriend and baby mama shared an adorable video of their son, Urso. We can't begin to imagine how much they're hurting. At least we have what promises to be a fantastic final performance by this amazing actor. It doesn't make his passing any easier, but he'll live on through his work and his passion. Rest in peace, Gaspar. Thanks for watching.